Yo, like in that situation, I'm instantly crashing out. I'm about, oh my gosh, how embarrassing, how embarrassing. Pull out the strap. Everybody dying up in here. What's good, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video I made just for you. Today, we're going to be playing Until Dawn. I seen some clips of this game. I'm like, yo, this game is pretty good. And I seen other clips of it. And I'm like, yo, this game is pretty bad. With all that being said, let's get right into it. Brightness adjustment. Um... I don't see any logo, so we just gonna turn that up. We just gonna turn it up. Yep. Uh, traditional controls, bro. If you pick motion controls over traditional controls, you are in fact the op to the channel. The smallest decision can dramatically change the Y'all read it. Your actions will shape how the story unfolds. This is an interesting depiction on how things can go. Your story is one of many possibilities. Choose your actions carefully. All right. All right, I'm here for it. They already say that? I mean it though. on him. I'm just looking out for my girl, Em. Just because he's class pres doesn't mean he belongs to everyone. Mike is my man. Hey, Em, I'm not anybody's man. <laughs> Whatever you say, darling. Crazy. <laughs> She's here. Shh, shh. Mike. Mike. Why does she kind of look like um? Hey, Hannah. <laughs> Why does she kind of look like Mia Khalifa a little bit? Hey, did you see that? Dad said it just be us this weekend. Josh. Oh, I'm controlling her. All right, let, let, let's take a look. Let's take a look. Let's see how she looking. She looking. She definitely looks like she owns like a couple of cameras. You know what I mean? These dudes are drunk, drunk. Can you wake them up? What's that shining right there? Hold on. Press and hold to pick up the bottle. Got you. Jeremiah Craig? What was that, a whiskey? Man. Jeez, Josh. <laughs> Once again, brother, you've outdone us mm. all. Right. Anna, you look so damn hot in that shirt, but I bet you're even hotter without it. Come to the guest at 2 a.m. Mike. Oh my God. What did our naive sister get herself into now? That's crazy. Got your note. I'm glad you can make it. Look at his Maybe face. Maybe we should start with a little, you know, making out and see where it goes from there. Oh, hell yeah. That's crazy. 
Oh my God. She's taking her shirt off. What? Oh my God. Matt, what are you doing here? Uh, Hannah. I'm sorry, Hannah. Hannah. It's all got out of Just a stupid prank. Uh, Yo. <laughs> like in that situation, I'm instantly crashing out. I'm gonna be like, oh my gosh, how embarrassing, how embarrassing. Pull out the strap. Everybody dying up in here. You guys are jerks. You know that? Hannah! <gasps> right, take the shoes. Wake Josh, find others. Uh, wake up, Josh. Probably. Josh! Josh! Fuck! Alright. Guys, there's someone outside. Oh, what the shoot. Hell? Hannah! What's going on? Where's my sister going? <sighs> it's fine. She just can't take a joke. It was just a prank, Han. The girl said it was just a prank. Where's the funny in it? I thought I was going to get all eight characters to survive. I'm going to make sure that one don't. Believe it. All right, quick oh, action. Shit. All right, quick time. Uh, let's go. Let's go fast. Let's go fast. Oh, come on. Dang. How fast did she run off? Follow the footprints, idiot. What, boy? Follow the noise? Hell no, bro. You ain't grab a knife? You ain't grab Blick? Hey. Hannah! I do not like these controls, bro. I didn't even see that. Yep. Yo, put that sprint in active mode, bro. Hello? Hello? Oh, see? What did I just pick up? No. I hear whispers. No, pick that up again. Inspect it. Inspect that, bro. Did y'all see how she fell and got her back busted? I picked it up thinking it was gonna be a shoe. Now I picked up a curse. This whole playthrough is done. Boy, what the heck? Hannah! What is that? You asking the right questions, Anna. the wrong person though. Anna. Get what? your ass back here, bro. Anna. Oh my God, you must be freezing. Here, take my coat. I'm such an idiot. I'm so dumb. Anna, back. <gasps> okay. <laughs> I'm ready for the quick time. She did. She did. Forget it. Forget it. We're double dead.
You better hold it. You better hold it. Hold on. Hold on. Where are we fighting a dream? Ah, 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 ah. I'm sorry, I choose me. <laughs> yeah, I picked up that, that, that curse. Yep, they did. They ever sure did. Before we begin, there are a few things I need to make sure you understand. You see, no one can change what happened last year. The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. So, you have committed to commence with this game. This is significant. And I want to help you see it through. Sometimes, Sometimes these things can be a little scary, even terrifying, but I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. Hmm? All right, we will start with a simple exercise. Could you please pick up a card? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. It, it is essential that you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. This is, this man's mouth moves a little too much, bro. Bro's talking like this, he's like, I want you to pick up the card. Why do they put so much emphasis in the movements of their faces, bro? It's starting to remind me of Polar Express. So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. How did that picture make you feel? <laughs> Uneasy. Okay. Honesty is good. What do you think it is that... What's that picture in the background? Uneasy? Why don't you ask me about the pictures in the background? Because that makes me feel way uneasy. The Scarecrow. Well, I see. I see. Let's see. The Scarecrow were not there. Would you feel comfortable staying there on your own for a period of time? Hell no! Why not? Bro, uh, lonely, bro. I, there's a fine line between the peacefulness of solitude and the loneliness of isolation. Perhaps this is something we can explore in the future. Hmm? Because I'm afraid we're out of time. <laughs> Not for now. Until the next session. And uh, until then, try to surround yourself with friends in a place that makes you feel safe. Duh. Bro, reset. Choose the healthy options. That'll be $800, sir. Man, what am I paying you for, for real? Like, if I ever go to a therapist or something, bro. I want them to like engage the deep rooted hatred that I have for certain things, bro. Like, oh, death. Oh, death. Oh, death. Won't you spare me over till another year? This sounds like a slave song if it was written by white people. Today is the one year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy that took place on Mount Washington. Annie Klein was in charge of the investigation. Thanks for having me, Marty. This is an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Foul play. Not officially, no. 
There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Well, thank you for joining us, Anthony. With all the Washingtons tonight, with their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. I didn't put these on. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. He left that in the edit. All right. Though. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all. Is that Pete Davidson? First off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. <laughs> so, um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me, and I know it's gonna be tough on all of us going back. That scared me. I gotta, gotta plug my controller up. All right. After what happened last year, but I just want you all to know, um, it means it means so much to me that we're doing this, and that I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're we're all still here together, and I'm thinking of them. Are you sure really about that? I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for, for the sake of my sisters and, you know. Okay, so let's party like we're fucking porn stars, okay? Make this one trip we will never forget, all right? Yes! So he could have edited the video, add inspirational music behind it, so that it didn't seem so horrible. Who is that nigga? Tony Stark? Alright. Not gonna lie to you. <laughs> Not gonna lie to you, bro. I wouldn't have came back to this cabin. Their situational awareness is abysmal. The fact that there's no cell service out here? Whack. Sam, Hannah's best friend, considerate, adventurous, diligent. Yeah, even as a friend, like, bro, if my homie passed on and I was at the party where he passed on at, I'm getting my get back. Like, bro, no. There's no common sense behind the story. There's Hello? no. Is there's no there? reason. There's no reason for anybody to come back there. Matter of fact, I probably wouldn't be going in any cabin. Right stick to move camera. Yeah, uh, you're telling me this now after I caught two bodies already? Flashlight, where's that at? Right stick to look around. Objects could be uh, inspected. Okay, we got that. Oh, back up. This camera movement is crazy though. Hold on, I'm trying to like tweak the camera so that I can. Okay, never mind. Gate is busted. Climb over. Wow, oh, what? <sighs> Damn it. Boy, what? So I got. I probably gotta go on this side. Come on, gates busted. Climb over. Nope. Uh, let's let's go for let's go for quick. Cause I feel like we're gonna have to. Let's get that practicing. Let's get that quick practicing. <laughs> yep. Uh, jump. Yep. Yep. Let's get that quick, that quick time event practice, bro. I feel like we're gonna definitely have to use this in this type of game, bro. I 
feel like Jason Voorhees is out in the woods. Cause like, who's breathing like that? I certainly wouldn't be. Aww. Girl, that just a squirrel. You hungry? Huh? Ah, damn it. Hey, hey, hey. I said don't it's move. It's okay. That's it. Come on. I'm not gonna move this time. <laughs> Cutie. Why did it sound like that when she got up? Y'all ain't hear that that stretch that Y'all ain't hear that when she was getting up? That was like smooth ice right there. I'm supposed to be looking around and stuff. Alright, what about this sign right here? Can I look at it? Oh, cool. indigenous people and butterfly prophecies. Black is death. Of course, I guess. Red is danger. Brown is loss. Uh, yellow is guidance. And white is fortune. All right. So I think that one tone I picked up was uh, the... Oh, uh, see, see, we picking, we we picking shit up. See, that's that's what got him murked in the first time. Okay, that's what got us killed in the first time. Looking, picking up stuff. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's yellow, right? That's guidance. Okay. The fortune is uncertain whether. Or not the prophecy comes true is so they're showing me a possibility a positive possibility nice whose bag is okay hold on yep we got death totem off rip yellow is a uh, pro uh, what guidance potential loss of friends so that's Okay, okay, okay. So death totem is for the death of yourself. Yellow totem is for guidance. Red totem is potential loss of your friend. Danger is future future danger. And that is a potential chance of a uh, fortune. All right. Chris, are you here? So let's get all white totems. Bags here. Where are you? You're not in the bag, are you? Bro, who's Hello? that? What do we have here? Who's that growling in the bushes? Yeah, let's snoop. Aha! Look who it is. He knows it. Has a crush on Ashley, methodical, protective, and humorous. All right, so this man is a goober. You scared me. I, I'm sorry. Are Are you my secretary? I was buzzing. Cool. Well, thanks for letting me know. I I can take it from here. Oh, so I found something kind of amazing. What? I'm not gonna tell you. You gotta see for yourself. Come on, it's this way. Where? Right around here. Gonna blow your mind. I'm not gonna hold you, bro. So what? So this is a year later after it. I would have been pull I would have been toting a strap. Oh man, look at this. Nice. Milgram Victor, you think six we'll get a foot visit two. America's most wanted. Looks like someone thought so. Uh, oh come on! It's been abandoned most of the year. Nobody comes up Last here. Last seen 1998. Okay, so this man is still out on 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 the run, and we can't see his face, so he's definitely in these woods. Definitely in the woods. 
All right. Ta-da! Pretty rad, right? Yeah! Come on, look at these beauties. Uh, beauties is not the word that comes to mind. Why is this even here? What do you mean? W what the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of a ski lodge? Uh, dude, have you ever met Josh's dad? Yeah. Hey, Maybe point that like down Adams range. Wanna try? Uh, now you go ahead, Grizzly. All right. Here goes. They left ammo in it? All right. Let me show you what I'm about, bro. All right. RT? Yep. Easy. Easy. Light work. Wow, nice shooting tits. All right, I'm bad. I'm a badass. I'm gonna go ahead and guess it was a wild case of beginner's luck. Nah, I don't think so, girl. Well, anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. All right, you see that score right there? Watch this. Now let's shoot this. <laughs> nice shot. Your ass just got sacked. <sighs> hey, sharpshooter, our ride's coming. Wait, I'm just getting the hang of this. Come on, Chris, the cable car. But who left the un like a who up? Who left a shotgun loaded at the bottom of the ski lodge? Butterfly flick. Butterfly flick. Rats with bushy tails. All right, what's that about? Chris chose not to shoot the squirrel. Nature remained in balance. Hey, hey, see? And anyways, you wouldn't really get good meat off a squirrel, bro. Like, it's so much work to skin a squirrel. Only for the, like, like you put, you put squirrels in soup, bro. That's stew meat. Hold on. Let me look at this again. I'm looking it's this. definitely weird coming back up here after a whole year. Yeah, I swear. Milgram I Victor. Just all came flooding back. So what's his? Here goes fast. So he's six foot something, right? Ain't got no type of weight on him, huh? All right. So what year is this? If this is 2015, bro. Uh, it must be really hard on Josh. I I don't cooked. know how he keeps it all together. I. Hey, that's weird. Door's locked. Yeah. Uh, Josh wanted us to keep it locked to keep people out. He said that? What people? I, I don't know. He said they found people sleeping in the station one time. It's creepy. Hmm. So we just gonna go ahead and go right in it? Gotcha. After you. Oh, real gentleman. Let's look around. Go straight up here and see what's in here. What a crazy place to set up house. Blackwood. No matter Pine. how rich you are. They're not so rich. They only bought a mountain. That's pretty rich. A hot tub? Please don't be anything crazy. All right, we're good. Nothing new. I thought the car was closer. Guess we gotta wait. I'm starting to get the appeal of killing time at the shooting range. How long is this gonna take? It's a big mountain. Okay. Let's hurry up. You gotta publish. What? You're pretty tall. The sleeping giant of Blackwood Ford. Oh, shut up. Finally, you coming? Yeah, well, I was gonna stay here and catch some Z's, but okay. Mm, just like going to the prom. Here we 
we go. Right. Adventure begins. Oh, this was you know what? I, to do. I think right. I might go to a ski lodge, you, you know, know what I mean? Everyone together on the anniversary. I've been skiing one time, bro. I mean, Josh seemed really pumped about us all doing something, didn't he? I plan yeah, on going no, back again. He definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good, good. It's hard to tell with him, and I, and I've kind of been worried. No, no, it was, it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro. Good talk. <laughs> you know what? Let's just, let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. Right? I know what you're right. I mean, you know how here. Josh and I met? No. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room. I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay, so? So I got moved to the back. And? And next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean, and became friends to this day. A match made in heaven. If it weren't for the fact that Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early, and on that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off her training bra, I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Right now. Or, or talking to some other person entirely. Boom. Butterfly effect. Okay. Freaking nerd. I'm not gonna hold you. I would've done the same thing. I would've been just bullshitting a conversation. Jess, Mike's new girlfriend. Irreverent, trusting, confident. All right. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. New people, time to meet and greet. <gasps> what the hell? Jess, hey. Jessica, over here. Uh, are you guys having a really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? Pretty please? Weird. Oh my god. I thought we were goners. Another ten minutes in there and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, sick, Chris. Look, I got a lot of meat on my bones. It's all muscle down here. Yeah, right. Uh -huh. Hey, Chris. <laughs> I'm just doing like Sam taught me. Other people's private thoughts are my own personal playground. Do not be a jerk. My goodness. Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president, Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. Uh... Give that back. Give that back, you tool. Tool and die. That's my motto. Oh, you're such an idiot. Maybe nosy Nancy shouldn't go nosing around in other people's nostrils. Uh, yeah, I, I try not to do that as a rule. Come on, Jess, you can tell us. You can totally keep secrets. Whatever. Hold on. Is she the one that, uh, that came up with the idea to prank that girl? into uh just like taking her off her shirt in front of a dude that she uh thought that you know was feeling her for real if that in that case man i should have opened that letter you'll figure it out eventually all right all right let's just get up to the lodge already yep i gotta remember that's the one junk. uh you guys go ahead i'm just gonna wait here for a bit see who else is coming you mean mike what uh, i mean you know, whoever. Uh-huh. Sam? <gasps> Did you see this view? I mean, holy cow. Sometimes I forget to just stop and take it all in. Seriously, couldn't they have built the lodge like right where the cable car ends? Resourceful, resourceful persuasive, intelligent. So she's a manipulator. Like, look at her face. Would have been like as pretty. Matt, Emily's new boyfriend, ambitious, motivated, and active. All right. No. And where's the bellboy when you need one? 
So, I'm carrying the bags. Obviously. <sighs> getting chills. We're almost there. No, I mean, getting kind of creeped out. Oh, uh, yeah. It's gonna be weird seeing everyone up here again. Yeah, it's weird that you even showed back up. What do you think? Ah! Jesus! <laughs> That's Emily's ex. All right, intelligent, driven, persuasive. Oh, they're a match made in heaven. Or was. <laughs> you guys. Michael! You really, really should have seen your faces right Dude, there. Dude, I almost clocked you just now. He said, I almost clocked you. And then pulled up that boat. The only thing you knocking out is your bowels. All right, come on now. In the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being. You always get like this. It's time for you to go home, bro. Uh, what are we doing? Michael, you gotta step off. Emily and I are together now, and that's just the way it is. I'm not gonna tell you again. Yeah. Do we understand each other? Well, I thought maybe we could move past all this. We buds, but yeah, fine. Mike. No, no, no. No, it's totally cool. I'm just gonna head down the road, be all mature and shit by myself over here. Peace. I think you got the message. Kind of hot when you get all alpha, you know that? Oh, crap. No, she's what? still feeling him. Hey, could you take these the rest of the way? The bags? Yeah, all the bags. Um, why? I need to go find Sam. Okay. Sorry, I just, I really. No, no, you ain't sorry. You got feelings for a bro. And honestly, this man right here shouldn't even be there in the first place. He shouldn't have been there the first time. He shouldn't be there the second time. I guarantee you, she's only with this dude to get back at Mike for whatever he did. We need to go find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. This really can't wait. We're almost there. It's important, Matt, please. Yeah, she's dead too. She dead too. All right. What's her name? Fine. Emily, yeah, you're gone. You're gone. You're get, you're getting put into the death note. Like, I'm not saying like I'm gonna try to make sure they pass on, but the push go to shove. Ooh, kill him! Ooh, kill him! Guess I can pack horse it the rest of the way, but you owe me one. Excuse me? Yeah. Well, the more even at least. I'll think about it. Just be careful. See you up there, sweetie. Thank you. No, she don't want to be saved. Don't save her. She don't want to be saved. Don't save her. She don't want to be saved now. I'm saying. I'm just saying, bro. Ashley has a crush on Chris, inquisitive, forthright, academic. All right, Ashley, Chris, Chris is that one dude. Okay, gotcha. It's being a creep. Oh, hello. Somebody's Ooh. getting a little friendly. I'm not in the friend zone kind of way. I might need to check the expiration date on their big breakup. Bro. Oh! Oh, God. <laughs> oh. Hey, whoa. I was going to say it's a jump Sorry scare. There. Sorry about that, Ash. I didn't mean to scare Jeez you. Louise, well, Matt. I did mean to scare you, sort of scare you, but not like for real oh scare you. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Hey, wow. Man, I'm, I'm really sorry, Ash, Dan. It's okay, it's fine, it's fine. What are you looking at? See anything juicy with that thing? Uh, it, Let me check it out. It, uh, no, go ahead, take a look. Um, sure, uh, go, go ahead, knock yourself out, I guess. Go ahead. Oh, son of a bitch. Seriously, Emily? What the hell, man? Hey, listen, it's probably nothing. Nothing, you think? Well, yeah. Is it ever just nothing with him? Ever? I don't know. I... Damn it. Matt. Yep. 
We airing it all out, bro. We airing it out, bro. No, this just makes it more juicy, bro. Pause. Check phone. Let's check that phone, bro. Let's see if that service is kicking. Oh, you did not just do that. Put your hands where I can see them. We've got you surrounded. No, you a two-timer. She a two-timer. But who am I to retaliate? What choice do I, a supple young rebel girl, have but to surrender to the strapping military guard come to take me into custody? Grab a snowball. I, well, I don't know when you put it like that. Hey! <laughs> Clock and shit. Oh, oh right in the mouth. Great. Hey, take the snowballs to the mouth. Take the snowballs to your jaw. Yep. Where are you hiding, little chickadees? That's nasty. Clock that again. Oh, man. Hey. Oh, snap. Ducking it. <laughs> Hello. Come on. Beam his ass. Yep. Beam him. Hey, Mike. Boom. Back of the head. No, you got me. Okay. <laughs> yep. Sometimes doing nothing is the right you thing. You can't to do. hide from me, Michael. I know all your tricks. All right, easy. We not hitting that bird. We gotta keep nature in the balance. Actually, no, fuck her. Smash that bird. <laughs> Did you see how that bird just got hit? I'm getting bad juju for her. I'm getting bad juju on her. Him, 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 her, him, him. Bodies, 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 bodies. If you're cheating, body. Manipulator, body. Emily's getting body. Chris is also getting body. Keep learning with a girl that's already in a relationship. If you do that in real life, you deserve to get hit with a body. Oh no. Damn, Chess. Look what you did. I know, I know. Kill the oh, fuck no, out of that poor bird. Birdie, poor little Tweety Birdie. Stone cold, Jess. I didn't do it on purpose. Yes, you did. I did. Yep, look, you killed that motherfucker. Oh my god. And you still Michael? playing. And you still playing. <laughs> oh, gotcha. It's done. Done city. So did I go down? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I think you'd know so if I did. All right, all right. My, my. So are we calling it my favor, then? You're a worthy opponent, Miss Jessica the Snowball Queen. Okay, that sounds vaguely dirty. My lady. Grab, a, grab another snowball. Ah! Fuck him up. Oh, ho, ho. Okay. Okay, you're really gonna get it. What am I gonna get? Well, I can think of at least one thing. Yeah. But you'll have to wait until later. Ew. Did you hear that? Uh, yes, yeah, sounds like... Oh! Oh my god! That was really close. That thing was gonna kill us! Yeah, I mean... Wow, if you hadn't pulled us out of the way... Toast. Let's get out of here. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? I could have ended two birds, one stone. No pun intended. Let me see, let me see let me see what that looks like for the uh, for nature. Butterfly effect. Nature still remain in balance. Okay. Uh. Okay. Anything else? Nothing. All right. I just thought that, you know, the icicle thing had something to do with nature. Hello again. And how are we feeling? Hmm? Well, I, I trust that you have stayed in the company of good friends since our last session. This time, we're going to try to understand the root of your anxiety. Now pick up that book, turn the pages, 
You will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set makes you the most anxious. All right. Which one? Men worry me, women worry me. Everybody worries me. Um, I don't know, bro. Planes scare me, crowds scare me. Yup, that's me for real. Fear of heights, fear of drowning, uh, drowning. At least from heights, it's instant death. Drowning, bro, you're gonna be there for a hot minute. Snakes scare me, rats scare me. Uh, snakes scare me. Um, snakes are poisonous, bro. That's a rattlesnake. That's Master Splinter on the right. Knives are scary. Guns. I mean, if I if I guess if I listen. Guns are deadlier, but come on now, getting stabbed with a knife that's gotta be the worst way to go out guns it's most likely a young nigga coming up with you with a switch and, and air your shit out like you gonna be alive for a good seven seconds probably a knife you're gonna be bleeding out for a hot minute like come on let's let's be honest here it's, these are easy cockroaches or snakes um snakes like come on now Clowns or scarecrows? Uh, clowns. Scarecrow. Scarecrows are inanimate. What was that? Gore disgusts me. Crows are scary. I don't know. I think I'd be afraid of a crow. Like you wake up in a crow. Oh. Did that startle you? So sorry. You're doing very well. Boy. Don't be nervous. Are you sure you're supposed to be doing that as a psychiatrist? Try to speed up a bit. The more you rely on your instincts, the more honest your answers will be, and the more enlightening you will find this experience. As far as, uh, yep, snakes still scare me. Next. Uh, yep, needles. Needles, yep. You get an air bubble in your in your bloodstream, it's over. Zombies scare me. Yep, cause what that entails. Yep. Swipe. Uh, dogs? No, needles. Wolves, on the other hand, I'm scared of. Or not scared of. I'm weary of. Needles still. This is very interesting. Thank you for answering so diligently. <laughs> Ugh. Snakes, zombies, and needles. <laughs> the sun combination sounds like a good Friday night. What type of snakes are you talking about? You probably talking about anacondas. You freaky fester. We're out of time, but I promise. You freaky we'll Frank. Again very soon. Go get your freaky ass on somewhere. I know you got baby oil in his office. You probably use cast oil. Alright. Don't you guys think this is a little bit I'ma stop it right there. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That's Until Dawn Episode 1. I hope you guys love the series because I intend to keep it going, but that's all up to you. So what? If you like the video, give it a good like, share it, subscribe if you're new, and hit the notification bell so you always know when I post. I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay blessed. Peace.